um, blessed that um, Breast Cancer Care WA was part of my journey. Um, being from New Zealand, I had no family here. Like after going through the treatment alone, pretty much I felt alone. I had family and a husband to support me, but I didn't have a peer group of women who understood what I was going through. From day one, when I walked in there, <sighs> the girls who I had no idea who were uh, to become friends in the future, people just opened, opened their arms, gave me a kiss, <laughs> and I didn't even know them. <laughs> And this was a situation that I had to realise it was okay to ask for help and ask for others' opinions. If it wasn't for my family and my friends and the support of um, BCCWA, I don't think I would have been able to get through it. Um, they have been such a help and it gives you something to aim for when you see other people who have been through what you've been through to, to carry on. Breast cancer care helped me out, but financially, a lot emotionally, and a lot understanding the journey that I was on. Just tremendous support all the way down the line, not just in the group meetings, but the help and support outside the group meetings, being able to ring up for coffee, um, you know, help in, in wondering how, what the next step was, um, because when you go on this journey, you really haven't got a clue. The support group here in Peel has meant that we can talk to people that understand, understand what we're going through. Um, it means that we are not alone. We can um, we just pick up the phone and support each other. I was struggling trying to understand everything um, and I don't think I communicated a lot of that to my family so that's where Kathy um, was able to help me, Breast Cancer Care WA. Um, Having all the support and just knowing that you can just ring somebody up and say look I'm having a shit day today. Denise and Kathy both used to just pick up the phone and it was like an angel had sent them a message because it was a day that I really struggled and the girls would just jump on the phone and ask me how I was. And it was just really nice that somebody took that time to show me that they cared. Yeah, so that was really nice because the journey itself at times can be very isolating. We did a, a fantastic course with Cathy last year about fear and anxiety. That was the first time I actually realised um, that cancer had affected me because I rallied through the first year just tap 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 doing it and I hadn't realised how much it had affected me and my family. From a personal perspective my advice would be to reach out initially. Um, Join a support group Definitely. Don't be frightened. It's not miserable. <laughs> You'll have some stories where obviously that's real life. You know, people are going to break down and have tears. Because after a while, you, although your friends and family are brilliant, they don't know exactly what you're going through. And having these girls just to know that they're there and they, they'll, they say the right thing, do the right thing, um, which is really brilliant. But overall, they are there to help and you will get help. Um, you can tell your story, but you will make friends and um, for me, doing that was absolutely vital. Mm -hmm.